And it is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Monday, May the 4th, 2015, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral services for IE Red Wine 96 at Muleshoe will be Tuesday morning at 11 at the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe, where he was a faithful longtime member. Dr. Stacy Connor, his pastor, will officiate followed by interment at the Muleshoe Memorial Park under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Muleshoe. I.E. Redwine died Wednesday at the Running Water Draw Care Center in Alton, where he and his wife had moved in 2012 from their Palmer County, Lasbury area farm, where they had lived since 1950. She died in January of this year. A.E. Redwine was born in Leslie, Texas on February 5, 1919, one of 13 children of J.J. and Minnie Redwine. He is survived by his son, Bobby, and his daughter, Donna, and her husband, Jerry Don Glover, all of Lasbury. Eight grandchildren, Susan Miller and her husband, Johnny, of New Bronzeville, Sharon Williams and her husband, Chad, of Shreveport, Brian Glover and his wife, Shanna, of Lasbury, Jared Redwine of Houston, Bryce Redwine and his wife, Brittany, of Lubbock, Shannon Redwine of College Station, and Tobin Redwine and his wife, Shanna, of Montgomery, Texas. Eleven great-grandchildren, five great-great-grandchildren, three sisters, Bonnie Ashmore of Lubbock, Edna Sneed of Austin, Billy Wright McCurry of Littlefield, and one brother, Homer Redwine of Lubbock. He was preceded in death, as I said, by his wife of 75 years, Mildred, and his parents, J.J. and Minnie, and his siblings, Leonard, J.C., Doug, D.L., Burl, Gerald, Redwine, and Doretha Brooks and Juanel Boatman. I.E. and Mildred Redwine started farming in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, and moved to Muleshoe in 1942. He was a tower of inspiration to all of his family and friends. He was a devoted Christian man. In fact, he was a gentleman. He was a member of the Last Buddy School Board and a deacon of the Baptist Church. He belonged to the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe, where his funeral services will be held Tuesday morning at 11. And after the services, there will be at 12.30 a meal for 50 Red Wine family members in the Fellowship Hall of the First Baptist Church. If you can bring your food early, that will help the ladies so much who prepared the meal. The Red Wine family asks that memorials be sent to either the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe, 202 West Avenue E, or the Running Water Draw Care Center in Olton. And online sympathy messages can be sent to elliesfuneralhomes.com for the A.E. Redwine family. Funeral services for Augustine Martinez, 53 of Muleshoe, were held Monday morning at 11 at the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe, where he was a member with his pastor, Dr. Stacy Connor, officiating. Beryl was in the Muleshoe Memorial Park under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Muleshoe. 150 family members of the Martinez family were served lunch in the Fellowship Hall of the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe. Augustine died Thursday of cancer in Lubbock. He was born September 21, 1961 in Juarez, Mexico to Marcel and Manuela Martinez. He served in our United States Army during Desert Storm and was a very outgoing, generous person who would help anyone he possibly could. He was a member of the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe. Augustine was preceded in death by his father, Marcel, and his brother, Natito. 
Survivors include three sons, Jonathan Zapata of Amarillo, Augustine Jr. and Carlos, three daughters, Cassandra, Veronica, and Lisa Marie, his mother, Manuela, five brothers, Ramon, Manuel, Martin, George, and Miguel, two sisters, Maria Sanchez, and all of the above are from Milshu, and Olga Belanger of Amarillo, and 11 grandchildren. You can send your sympathy messages for the Augustine Martinez family to elliesfuneralhomes.com. Two of his children are Milshu High School students. Carlos and Lisa Marie. Carlos will graduate later this month from Milshu High School, and Lisa Marie is a junior. It's time now to wish Mr. and Mrs. R. L. Scott a happy 68th wedding anniversary on Monday. Congratulations, Doris and Raymond Scott, on your 68th wedding anniversary. Now it's time for Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications to bring you the weather forecast for Milshu, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire area. On Sunday, the high was 86 and the low was 51, and it was 52 degrees on Monday morning at 7 o'clock. In Anton, they received 38 one-hundredths of an inch of rain on Saturday night. Friona, Sunday night, pardon me. Uh, Friona got 15 one-hundredths. Amherst, 12 one-hundredths. Martin, one-tenth. Tulia, nine one-hundredths. Sudan, one-tenth. And in Littlefield, almost half an inch. And now, a message from our sponsor. Due to the impending sale of Plateau Wireless to AT&T, the Muleshoe Plateau office, located at 5 Area Telephone, will be closing effective May the 15th. All future transactions will need to be processed through the Clovis Plateau office at 2701 North Prince Street. 5 Area apologizes for any inconvenience this may cause and hope that the transition will be as seamless as possible. Five Area thanks you for your many years of support and are grateful that they had the opportunity to serve you. Payments will need to be remitted to the Clovis address and all questions for service should be directed to their Plateau's toll-free number at 877-PLATEAU. That's 877-752-8328. And thanks from Five Area Telephone. And again, the Plateau Wireless Office located at Five Area Telephone. 302 Uvalde Street will close effective May the 15th. Looking at our weather forecast for the Muleshoe area, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms this Monday afternoon. Some storms could be severe and produce heavy rainfall, mostly cloudy otherwise with a high around 74 degrees. South-southeast winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Showers and thunderstorms possible tonight. Some storms, again, could be severe and produce heavy rainfall, low around 53. South-southeast winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 90% tonight. Tuesday, showers and thunderstorms likely cloudy with a high around 72 degrees. South winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 60% tomorrow on Tuesday. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms Tuesday night. Partly cloudy with a low around 50. Mostly sunny on Wednesday, high around 80 degrees. Southwest winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour, increasing later Wednesday afternoon, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday night, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy with a low around 54. Thursday, a 20% chance of rain, partly sunny, high near 79 degrees. South winds around 10 miles per hour, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms possible Thursday night, partly cloudy with a low around 52. Friday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms again, mostly sunny, high near 80. South-southwest wind between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Friday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy with a low around 50. So good. Rain chances here in the next five days here in the Muleshoe area. And again, today on Monday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some storms could be severe with heavy rainfall, mostly cloudy today with a high around 74. Showers and thunderstorms possible tonight. Chance of precipitation is 90%. 
Low around 53 tonight, south, southeast wind between 10, 10 and 20 miles per hour. Then Tuesday, high near 72, low around 50. 60% chance of rain during the day, then a 40% chance of rain Tuesday night. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Liz Tips was named Woman of the Year by the Beta Sigma Phi chapters in Millshoe Tuesday night at their annual Founders Day banquet. Liz is the wife of David Tips of Millshoe, and they work together at Hereford Feed Ingredients. She is a registered nurse, however, and at one time was a Millshoe School nurse. She also has been associated on the faculty of Clovis Community College, where she taught nursing. I first met Liz when she was an oncology nurse for Dr. Close in Lubbock. Liz is the mother of three daughters, Megan, Hillary, and Kelsey, who were all reared here in Millshoe and are Millshoe High School graduates. She met her husband, David, while they were both students at West Texas State University in Canyon. Liz Tibbs is a kind lady, very sensitive to others' needs. She is a supportive person with a wonderful sense of humor. She is health conscious and enjoys running, bicycling, and swimming. Liz and David especially enjoy the music of the Eagles. Special guests at the Beta Sigma Phi Founders Day Banquet were former Women of the Year, Rowena Myers, Irene Mason, Nelda Merritt, and last year's recipient, Gina Wilkerson. And they are all pictured on our Facebook, our website, and our Twitter, as well as Channel 6 here in Millshoe with the honoree for this year, Liz Tips, Woman of the Year. Liz joins many other distinguished first ladies of Millshoe, including the late Inis Bobo, Jenny McVicker, now of Amarilla, Jean Allison, now of Lubbock, Rhonda Myers, Julie Cage, and so many, many other lovely ladies of Millshoe that there's so many I cannot name them all. We'll be back to name everything that you're interested in in the Mule Train News, so stay tuned. Tips are delicious. Have you been wasting time looking for a good meal? We'll go to Liel's Mexican Restaurant in Mioshio at 1010 West American Boulevard and try the Hermes Special. If you are under 12, try the grilled cheese. You know Liao's in Yoshio is the original Liao's Mexican restaurant. I highly recommend it. Five generations of our family have eaten at Liao's. What did you say, Isla? Chips are mm, delicious. And this edition of the Mule Train News is being brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Liao's Mexican restaurant. Being the boss just got easier as a business owner. Everyday details can take up so much of your time. The First Bank Business Check Card has seven built-in benefits to help manage tasks so you can spend more time doing what you love, running your business. Work smart, worry less. For more information on the First Bank MasterCard Business Check Card, call today, 806-272-4515, or go by 202 South 1st Street. The First Bank is member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The following is a message from the concerned citizens of Bailey County. Excessive alcohol consumption in the United States costs the economy $223,500,000,000 per year. Loss of productivity, $162 billion. Health care costs, $24.5 billion. Criminal justice, $21 billion. And other effects, $16 billion. That's $746 for every man, woman, and child in the United States per year, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC's recommendation for controlling the cost of excessive alcohol consumption regulate the availability of alcohol according to the, to the CDC fact sheet preventing excessive alcohol use. On May 9th, please vote against alcohol sales in Muleshoe. The preceding has been paid for by the concerned citizens of Bailey County. 
at BK Boutique, 200 East 21st Street in Clovis. They're having a Mother's Day sale this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and that means 25% off store-wide on all clothing at BK Boutique in Clovis. In gorgeous colors of turquoise and lime, black and white, reds and blues, tops and tees, plus sizes, leggings, slacks, and much, much more. They also feature scarves and jewelry at BK Boutique in Clovis, 200 East 21st Street. They are closed on Mondays only. At BK Boutique, they have gift uh, certificates for Mother's Day, and they are open every day except Monday, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 6, Texas time, Saturday afternoon, they close at 4 Texas time and open at 11 in the morning. This coming Sunday is Mother's Day, May the 10th, and it's a Mother's Day sale this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and 25% off store-wide on all clothing at BK Boutique, 200 East 21st Street in Clovis, and they do gift wrap. An open meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous will be held Monday night at 7 in the First United Methodist Church at 507 West 2nd. Please use the extreme south door of the church. A special guest, a Texas Tech co-ed, will share her hope, strength, and experiences Monday night at 7. The AA group meets every Monday and Friday night. A signing ceremony for Carrie Mendoza will be held at Muleshoe High School Choir Room on Tuesday afternoon, May the 19th at 1 o'clock. There will be a reception to follow in honor of Carrie Mendoza. She's a senior at MHS. Many other activities on the calendar at MHS for the end of school. On Monday, May the 11th, the band concert will be held at 6 o'clock. The Milshu High School Athletic Banquet will be Tuesday, May the 12th, 5 to 8, in the Commons area of MHS. The Junior Senior Banquet and Prom is Saturday, May the 16th at 7.30 in the evening in the Milshu High School Commons area also. The Milshu High School Celebration of Excellence in Education Awards Night will be on May the 21st at 6 o'clock at the Kerry Moore Auditorium of MHS. Congratulations to the Muleshoe Mules baseball team. They won third place in a very tough district and will go on now into the playoffs. Good luck to them. Then the Muleshoe Lady Mules softball area playoff will be held on Friday and Saturday this weekend. On May the 4th, that is this week on Monday. Leal's Mexican Food Restaurant is celebrating their 58th anniversary in business in Milshoe. The original Leal's is open at 1010 West American Boulevard here in the Mill Memorial City. And by the way, Hector was just nine months old when Leal's opened their doors first here in Milshoe, where Alex Tire Service is today on East American Boulevard. And Irma Leal is being honored this week with a Lifetime Achievement Award from Foodways of Texas in San Antonio at their fifth annual symposium. So doesn't that come just at the right time? It was 1957 when Irma and her late husband, Jesse Leal, first opened Leal's in Muleshoe. It was at the beginning a tortilla factory and then the Braceros would come in and they would share with their wonderful, wonderful men of this area, the farmers of the Muleshoe community. And that's how it all got started. Letty Tovar 
was hired as the new Dillman Elementary School principal beginning July the 1st when the present principal, Dana Hethington, becomes the Milshu ISD Director of Operations and Curriculum. Letty Tovar is the current student coordinator at Dillman Elementary School where children through the second grade attend school. Congratulations to Letty Tovar as well as Dana Hethington. And congratulations to Chris Martis because he is going to be retiring at the end of this year along with his wife, Gina Martis, and also over at Watson Junior High. They'll have one of their faculty members who um, retires, Brenda Black. And on Monday, May the 11th, Chris Martis will be honored by the Muleshoe High School faculty with a retirement reception from 3.30 to 4.30 in the Muleshoe High School Library. We'll be back with more mule train in a moment. Hello, I'm Irene Mason and I'm a candidate for mayor for the city of Muleshoe. I have served as a council member for eight years and have been active in the Texas Municipal League as a board of director, helping cities maintain local control. You may know me for my full-time job as counselor working at DeShazo Elementary with your children. Romans 12.12 tells us to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. On May 9th, you will have the freedom and privilege to make important decisions that will affect the entire community. Honor the sacrifices that have been made to secure this freedom by casting your vote. I would greatly appreciate your support to continue to serve this incredible community and celebrate its successes by voting for Irene Mason. Thank you very much. Election Day is Saturday, May the 9th, 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. at Muleshoe City Hall. Early voting April 27th through May the 5th, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Extended early voting hours 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. on April 28th and May 5th, all at Muleshoe City Hall. The preceding has been paid for by the committee to elect Irene Mason. The swing bed program is now available at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 708 South 1st Street, for the patient who is no longer in need of acute medical care but is not yet comfortable functioning independently at home. Call today for more information, the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 806-272-4524. The, fo the following is paid for by Citizens for Economic Gain. The, the Muleshoe Economic Development Corporation recently hired the retail coach to conduct a Muleshoe trade area analysis, which revealed that $4,934,520 is spent annually by area residents on packaged alcohol. If these purchases are made in Muleshoe instead of Clovis, Littlefield, Demet, Morton, or Lubbock, it would result in the city of Muleshoe and Bailey County receiving an additional $98,690.40 in sales tax per year and alcohol sales alone. Keep Muleshoe area tax dollars in Muleshoe. Vote yes on alcohol sales for Muleshoe on May the 9th. The preceding has been paid for by Citizens for Economic Gain. Please remember on your prayer list, Daryl Mason's family, 69 of Last Buddy, whose funeral was Friday and the family of Rex and Karen Harris, as Rex Harris, his brother, died just recently. Claudine Elliott, Ruby Henderson, Nina and Bob Landers, the family of Develia Salceda, 65, of Milshu, whose funeral was last Wednesday, Will Worley, a Watson Junior High School teacher who fell a week ago and broke his hip and had successful surgery at Covenant Medical Center in Lubbock. Mary Nell Bleeker, retired Milshu school teacher who fell earlier uh, or last month at her home here in Milshu and injured her back. She is in the swing bed of the Milshu Area Medical Center. Buck Johnson and Carolyn. Remember little Hannah Simmons in Houston. And you can write Hannah at Hannah Simmons, room 16, 
at the Ronald McDonald House, 1907 Holcomb Boulevard in Houston, Texas, 77030. That's why her family is staying. Her father came back to go to work here in Millshoe over the weekend. Now, there is also a fund, the Hannah Simmons Fund. It's open at the First Bank. Send your contributions to Attention Phil Kent, 202 South First Street, Mule Shoe, 79347, or you can just drop it off at the First Bank. Also, remember Vicki Stovall Perry of Canton, formerly of Milshu, the daughter of Linda Stovall of Milshu in your prayers. And she has gone through chemotherapy. Her address is 4206 FM 1651 Canton, the zip 75103. We're glad to report that Raul Santos is back in Milshew. Continue to remember Raul and all of the family of his wife's Nellie Santos, 72 of Milshew, whose funeral was held on April the 6th. Jacob Shelton in the hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Terry Byers at home. Hattie Ray Lambert who has pneumonia, Marsha Martis, who is at home in Wichita, Kansas, Jack Dunham, Ann Johnson, who's having tests this week, Mary Janice Brantley, who had emergency appendectomy last Tuesday, and she is doing well, we're glad to report, and Della Gonzalez, who has lupus. Dan Smith and his wife, Rosemary and Jana Brown Finke and her family. Uh, she has cancer and she is the daughter of Diane and James Brown of Millshoe. Francis Miramontes is home. Ronnie Locke in Arlington, the brother of Donna Locker of Millshoe, has cancer. Bobby Reynolds has cancer and is in hospice care. Remember Bobby Reynolds and his wife Zora here at their home in Millshoe. Delmer Clements, who has lymphoma. Keith Berman and Phyllis Carrion and their families all in our prayers. We'll be back with more Mule Train in a moment.
course, we mentioned earlier in the weather forecast brought to you by Five Area Telephone, the rain chances for Monday and Tuesday in the Mule Shoe area. The National Weather Service out of Lubbock has issued a flash flood watch for the entire South Plains in eastern New Mexico area around Muleshoe and it will go in effect this Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. and run through early Tuesday morning. It's for several rounds of heavy thunderstorms that will move across our area this afternoon and tonight. Rain coverage and intensity is expected to peak overnight. Widespread rain totals of one to two inches are expected with localized three to five inches um, amounts possible where storms repeatedly track over the same area. The heavy rain threat may persist into Tuesday morning. It will produce rapid runoff which may result in areas of flash flooding and inundation by flooding over roadways so be careful if you're out driving. Later today as this goes into effect at 4 p.m. and runs through early Tuesday morning a flash flood watch for the Muleshoe area. On Tuesday at 7 o'clock in the evening will be the last time that you can vote early in the all-important Muleshoe School Board and the Muleshoe City elections. And they will have extended voting hours at Muleshoe City Hall from 7 in the morning till 7 at night on Tuesday. And you vote for District 4 in the school board, Sergio Leal incumbent, or Ashley Turnbow. In the city for the mayor, it is Irene Mason, who is in po uh, opposing Cliff Black incumbent. There are 28 charter amendments on the city ballot and also the question about the legal sale of all alcoholic beverages for off-premises consumption only in the city limits of Muleshoe. Vote Monday up until 5 o'clock at Muleshoe City Hall or Tuesday from 7 in the morning till 7 at night. And the City Hall is on South First Street across the street from the First Bank. In our bargain basement, want to buy a golf cart, call 806-272-7663. For sale, a freezer and a full-size bed, call 806-272-4659. Lost two chihuahuas, a male and a female, 12 years old, strayed two weeks ago from 814 West 2nd. Call Euphemia Taurus, 806-729-8791. The male is white with brown spots named Chico, and the female Chihuahua is brown and black and named Princess. Found a set of keys on Avenue J. It, the key ring has I Love Arizona on it. There are four keys with an automatic door lock and unlock. Call 806-272-3369 if these are your keys. Just about time for us to go on the Mule Train News. So get up there, Little Red. Come on, Corina. Hiya, Arbutus, Undelay, Monkey Paw, Julia Gray, Isla Ann, Olay. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. We'll hear from the Southeast Texas historian in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 75 years of rural elect electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association. Keevan Ladd lives at Hardin in southeast Texas and is one curious guy. He loves history and spends a lot of time finding out things. He loves to look at unusual websites. I enjoy doing that. You can look up things in the census. And now they have a thing called findagrave.com. You can get on there and you can find where almost anybody is buried nowadays. And there'll be a picture of their tombstone. He was chairman of Liberty County's Historical Commission for 20 years. He has worked at the Wallaceville Heritage Park for 34 years. It's a nice museum that covers the history of Wallaceville and also other communities in Chambers County like Anahuac and Double 
travel by and Smith Point and Hancomer and a lot of little towns down there. And all those different towns are represented in our museum. And we have research materials that are available for people. We have family files that can come down there and probably 500, 600 files on Chambers County families and equal number of files on historical topics relating to Chambers County. He knows about the Jefferson County towns of China and Nome. China is right on Highway 90. If you're going from Liberty, you pass through Devers, and then you'll come to the little communities of Nome and China. They're little small towns that are on the road to Beaumont anyway. And somebody claimed one time that the, a railroad was coming through, and uh, they stopped at some little town, and they asked, is this uh, Beaumont? And they said Nome. You know, no, no man is not and everything. So they just wrote down N-O-M-E, and that's where the town of Nome got its name according to popular legend. China was the name of a railroad section house. The town that developed near there was named China. Keevan is always looking through old newspapers and once found the 1908 story in the Liberty Vindicator about a Baptist preacher in China, Texas. And the headline says, Death by Lightning, Reverend T.H. Fagan, killed while dismissing congregation at China at the time the fatal boat to lightning entered the church and struck him. Reverend Mr. Fagan had just finished shaking hands with a young man and was about to dismiss the congregation. In case anyone's interested, he's buried over in Magnolia Cemetery in Beaumont. It's a beautiful old cemetery it covers acres and acres so it's quite the place to if you're dead it's a good place to be buried keevan lad of harden i'm tumbleweed smith with the sound of texas time now for the market report brought to you today by stephen dement financial advisor with edward jones located right here in muleshoe in his office at 104 west second street call 806-272 4102, he can assist you with any of your financial needs, no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Monday, May the 4th, 2015, at 12 noon. U.S. stocks are trading higher to begin the week on positive earnings announcements and manufacturing news out of Europe. Helping to push markets higher is news that manufacturers in Europe raise prices for the first time in eight months. And earnings news shares of Comcast are trading higher after the company reported revenues that were above consensus expectations, citing strong sales in its cable communications and NBC Universal businesses. U.S. bonds are mixed in early trading so far this morning. In the S&P 500, the best performing sector is utilities, while the worst performing sector is energy. The Dow Jones, Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 73.57 at 18,097.63. The Standard & Poor's 500 index is up 9.50 to 2,117.79. The NASDAQ Composite Index is up 23.30 at 5,028.69. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is moderate with 169.90 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbering decliners by roughly 5 to 2 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is up $11.83 to $1,190.42. The spot price of silver is up $0.48 cents to $16.64. And crude oil prices are down $0.62 cents to $58.53. In the bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.83%, and the 10-year Treasury yield is 2.11%. Some stocks of area interest, AT&T uh, Incorporated is up 0.16 to 34.58. General Electric Company is up 0.02 to 27.33. Chesapeake Energy is down 0.24 to 16.30, uh, and Bank of America Corporation is up 0.23 to 16.34. The market report has been brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor with Edward Jones, right here in Muleshoe, 104 West 2nd Street, 806-272-4102. For more market information, check him out online at edwardjones.com.